Have you ever considered if the answer to better brain function and clearer vision might be right on your plate? Imagine if some foods could literally strengthen your cognition, guard your blood vessels, and even slow down age-related vision loss. Surely that sounds almost too good to be true. The worst part is that some of the things you could be consuming daily could be doing the opposite, possibly harming your cognitive ability and vision without you even knowing it. More than half of all Americans at the age of 80 either have a cataract or have had cataract surgery. Alternatively, one in nine people age 65 and above have Alzheimer's disease. These numbers are concerning, but what if there was a way to lower your risk without having to pay for expensive treatments or complex medical procedures? Today, we are delving further into the amazing realm of food as medicine and investigating how our diet might greatly affect our vision and brain function. We will be dispelling myths, revealing startling facts, and most importantly, providing you with useful, doable tips to start using right now. Thank you for having me. Today our guest is internationally known physician, scientist, and author, Dr. William Lee. More than 40 novel medical treatments touching over 70 ailments, including diabetes, blindness, heart disease, and obesity, have resulted from Dr. Lee's innovative research. He's here to share his knowledge on how we could eat to counteract vision loss and improve brain function. Welcome to the show, Dr. Lee. Let's begin with an idea central to your studies angiogenesis. Could you explain what this is and why it's so important for our vision and brain function? Angiogenesis, according to Dr. Lee, is our body's way of growing and protecting blood vessels. Every organ, including our eyes and brain, depends on the roughly 60,000 miles of blood vessels inside our bodies to provide oxygen and nutrients. Our vision and cognition are usually good when our blood vessels and circulation are healthy. On the other hand, problems with circulation can cause issues with cognitive ability as well as vision. Supported by strong scientific evidence, Dr. Lee then goes over five powerhouse foods that provide several health benefits for vision and brain function. First on the list are leafy greens, especially kale and spinach. Two antioxidants vital for eye health, lutein and zeaxanthin, are abundant in these. Higher intake of these nutrients was linked, according to a study reported in the journal Nutrients, to a reduced risk of age-related macular degeneration. Furthermore, these greens are rich in vitamin K, which has been linked to improved cognitive ability in elderly people. Second, we have fatty fish including sardines, mackerel, and salmon. Particularly DHA, a main structural component of the retina. These are great sources of omega-3 fatty acids. Regular fish intake was linked, according to studies reported in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, to a reduced risk of age-related macular degeneration. Furthermore, habitual fish eaters showed reduced cognitive impairment as they aged, according to a study in the journal Neurology. Berries come third on the list, especially blueberries, strawberries, and acai berries. Rich in antioxidants known as anthocyanins, these fruits have been shown to increase blood flow to the brain and eyes. Women who ate more blueberries and strawberries showed reduced cognitive decline as they aged, according to a long-term study written up in the Annals of Neurology. Fourth, among nuts and seeds, walnuts and flax seeds especially are important. Both omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin E abound in them. Slower cognitive decline was linked, according to a study in the American Journal of Epidemiology, to a diet rich in vitamin E. Regarding eye health, studies published in the archives of ophthalmology revealed that vitamin E and other nutrients can stop the progression of age-related macular degeneration. Lastly is green tea, rich in catechins, especially EGCG, a strong antioxidant. This drink is linked, according to a study in the Journal of Nutrition, Health and Aging, to a reduced risk of cognitive decline. Studies published in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry indicate that catechins may guard against glaucoma and other eye problems, promoting eye health. The ways these foods might help our minds and sight are amazing. Based on scientific data, Dr. Lee says there are definitely some foods we should aim to cut back on or avoid. 
On that list first would be regular and diet sodas as well as sugary beverages. Those who drank at least one artificially sweetened drink daily had approximately three times the risk of stroke or dementia compared to those who drank less than one per week, according to a study reported in the journal Stroke. Regular sodas' high sugar content has been linked to a higher risk of diabetic retinopathy, a main cause of vision loss in diabetics. Second, I advise reducing highly processed foods in the diet. Often heavy in harmful fats, salt, and synthetic additives, a 10% increase in the amount of ultra-processed foods in the diet was linked, according to a study in the JAMA Internal Medicine Journal, to a 14% increased risk of all-cause death. These foods can aggravate oxidative stress and inflammation, harming the health of the brain and eyes. Finally, I advise cutting intake of processed meats, including bacon, sausages, and deli meats. Those who ate the most processed meat had a 44% higher risk of dementia than those who ate the least, according to a study written up in the journal Neurology. Often high in preservatives and saturated fats, these foods might aggravate inflammation and harm blood vessels. But I'm interested in how fast people could expect to see benefits from changing their diets. Although some benefits, such as increased energy levels or better digestion, can be seen somewhat quickly, the impacts on vision and brain function are usually more long-term. It's about regularly choosing better foods over time. I advise considering it a kind of future health investment. For just six months, adults who followed a Mediterranean-style diet high in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins, for instance, showed gains in cognitive function according to a study reported in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. People at high risk of severe age-related macular degeneration, who combined a particular mix of vitamins and minerals, lowered their risk by almost 25% over a five-year period, according to another study published in the Ophthalmology Journal. Starting is never too late. Over time, even small changes like substituting a cup of green tea for a soda or adding some berries to your breakfast can add up. That is extremely motivating. But how does this relate to the idea of food as medicine, that which you spoke about earlier? The idea of food as medicine is about realizing that our diet has profound, long-lasting effects on our health at a cellular and molecular level not just on our weight or immediate energy levels. Foods high in specific nutrients are basically giving our systems the tools they need to heal damage, fight off illness, and function properly. For example, the antioxidants in green tea and berries help to neutralize damaging free radicals that can harm our cells. Fish's omega-3 fatty acids help to reduce inflammation in the brain and eyes, among other parts of the body. Conversely, when we eat foods high in sugar, bad fats, or synthetic additives, we could be harming our body. These foods can increase inflammation, damage our blood vessels, and even change our gut microbiome, all of which are quite important for both eye and brain function. The food as medicine approaches appeal is that it helps people to take charge of their health. Starting to choose better foods does not require a prescription or a doctor's visit. Every meal presents a chance to nourish your body and protect your health. What one last piece of advice would you like to give our audience as we wrap up? Over time, small, consistent changes can produce significant results. You don't have to change your diet completely overnight. Start by regularly including one or two of the foods we discussed today into your meals. Maybe replace your afternoon snack with a handful of walnuts or add some spinach to your morning smoothie. Also, don't see good food as a restriction. Instead, see it as a chance to explore new flavors and foods. The dishes we have covered today can be prepared in many delicious ways. In the kitchen, be creative, try new recipes, most importantly, enjoy your food. Finally, eating is only one part of the puzzle, though it is quite important. Maintaining your vision and cognitive function as you age depends on regular exercise, good sleeping habits, stress management, and regular visits to your doctor and eye care expert. Every meal offers an opportunity to make health investments. Make good decisions. Your eyes and brain will thank you for years to come. And there you have it, folks. We have explored the amazing relationship 
between our diet and brain and eye health. Foods like leafy greens, fatty fish, berries, nuts, and green tea have been shown to support our vision and cognitive ability. We have also learned which foods to avoid to preserve our health. Remember, you literally have the power to protect your vision and improve your brain function right on your plate. Why not start today? Your future self will thank you. Here's to eating for better vision and a sharper mind. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful discussions.